Doctor Who Aussie British. accents. Because he watched Doctor Who, so... See, but Americans suck at doing Aussie accents at the same time, too. So. He did it once. It was... It was, it was sad. Oh, that's the wrong Doctor Okay. <laughs> so, hello... Are we on? Yes, we're on the air. <laughs> Hello. So, hi all, welcome to the podcast. For now I'm just going to call it Work in Progress because we're all a work in progress. <laughs> so, if you don't know, my name is Jara, which I'm known on the internet, but you can also call me Jada, which is my name. <laughs> Shut up. All right. To my left, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Bianca and I'm an engineer for work. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Alright, no. and to my right, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Hi, my name is Erin. I am not an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Cool, glad that's a thing. <laughs> Sweet. None <laughs> of us are engineers for Horizon Brighton Secondary School. Please don't sue us. <laughs> Finish the supply. Alright, so I thought for fun, because people on the internet don't know us, and because why not give them some and we don't know <laughs> ourselves okay let's get a bit of background on, on how we all know each other just for a little bit of a context so these are my two best friends Aww. 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 <laughs> how gross affection <laughs> <laughs> the thing we all despise now um so i've known bianca for about 14 years now Aaron for about 11 so we all met in primary school and we've been stuck with each other ever since because life um, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, we're just. And we can't get rid of each other. <laughs> we just... try all the time. It, it just, just does not work. work. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got different like things that we can talk about in different podcasts. But for for this one, we would just do some icebreaker questions and talk <laughs> from there. Hi, Hi I'm Bianca. <laughs> I'm Jada. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jada. <laughs> <laughs> but these are some interesting ones. I thought that we might not all know about each other because we're friends. But I wouldn't be able to like list off everything Bianca loves and hates because. I don't really think I know all of it, to be honest. I don't think you know it, to be honest. Very true. I don't know my own favourite colour. This is fun. <laughs> oh no. My favourite colour changes on a daily basis. I don't have one. <laughs> Mine's been the same my whole life. Do we know what it is? Blue? Yes. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah. The literal like... blue screen behind me. Okay, so the first question. If you could be cast in a movie of your choice, what movie would you choose? Ooh. And which character would you want to play? Crazy with Asians, Astrid. Oh, nice. I no, I think I'd be too heartbroken to play Astrid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pull off Constance Wu. Like, she's, like, too cool for me. I'd play the mom. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I love how you both went for the same film. Like, wow, I'm going to miss. Or oh, Milan, Milan. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited for we Milan. We need that Asian oh, representation. Man. There's not Gen- a lot of Asians. <laughs> There's just not a lot of Asians in general. I love that. Um... Okay, now I can think of a movie I'd pull myself in. <laughs> because, like, I don't want to be like, oh, Star Wars, because knowing me, I'd die straight away. Like, I love oh, it, yeah. but I would probably die, to be honest. Oh, Jurassic Park. But I'd definitely die. Mm. I would definitely die. <laughs> yeah, so that's the problem. Oh, I'll put myself in an animated one Treasure Planet. Hell yeah. I haven't Ooh. seen Treasure Planet. <laughs> <laughs> and a silence <laughs> all over the room. The sound of disappointment. You will watch it, don't worry. You have to watch Treasure Planet. You have to watch Never for Christmas. I haven't Still? seen that one either. I've seen it already. Oh, you've seen it. She has. I knew one of you had seen it. I already watched it. it. Okay, proud. It's just me. I haven't. I'm less proud of you. More proud of you. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Cool. Um, and what character would I play? I would probably play as... Oh, I want to say the main character because I had a huge crush on him as a kid. But like, that's weird then because then I have a crush on myself and that's just weird. Um, no, it's like you're like living your living your living your life. life. <laughs> sure, I'm gonna just say the mom because you know, self love is the most important kind of love. Exactly, I'm I'm working on it. If you could meet any historical figure, either living or dead, who would you choose and why? Ooh. Anyone in the whole wide world or underworld at this rate because <laughs> like everyone I know who's like popular is dying R.I.P. Cameron <laughs> historical figure for some reason my mind just went to Shakespeare but yes. like <laughs> yeah just get do that English lit oh I hell yeah it. when you've got an assignment Think nonsense no one can understand I, <laughs> I love that though she got an assignment yo um Shakespeare what up my dude can you help me can you give me some like you yeah, know like, what references what are you thinking about when you're writing like this whole play thing because then um, at least you've got some, like, f- you know, real first, first references. First, first hand information, it's good. Mm. I'm trying to. I don't. Mm, I don't know. Like, Stephen mm. Hawking. Yeah, no, he'd be cool to me. Mm. 
Mine's such an odd answer though. What? I'd probably meet Adolf Hitler solely to ask what made you do <laughs> the things that you did. Hmm. Like, I want to get his side of the story instead of being like, no, he a bad person. I'm going to blame him for everything. I'd like to be like, why did you do the things you did? You know, was there That's a particular very reason? Because nice <laughs> I, I remember being in like high school and being like absolutely yelled at and being like torn apart because we had to describe Hitler in three words mm -hmm. and everyone described him as like, you know, mean, nasty, you know, all this stuff. And I said charismatic because he was. was. He was yeah. very charismatic. I said very charismatic leader. And then I said a little crazy, but like still, because <laughs> you have to be charismatic and a bit of a leader to get all so, that people, all yeah. those people to follow you and do things that you didn't do. But like under your own name and yeah. for them to think it was a good thing like you couldn't have just been like haha i'm crazy kill all those people sucked in like you know what i mean point. so i would like to like ask him like so what made you decide to kill a subgroup of people you would have and, a very you know, interesting dinner conversation it'd be great over some nice you know and i'd be like oh, oh yeah welcome to the food that we have now it's just everything is messed up <laughs> Pretty much. But yeah, you know what I mean? It's just Hell those yeah, things. That, that, was, that was an interesting answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was your answer? <laughs> yeah. What, what would you ask though? Why How do people understand you? <laughs> <laughs> How do I understand your writing skills? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no, like I, I think Shakespeare would be a good one too, because then I'd just be like Tell me about your life. Like, does Shakespeare Ooh. thinks his own writing's actually all that special? <laughs> I love it. He just goes. Like, my does he actually shit. understand what he's saying? Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> like you know when you like, ever have to like analyze text, it's like surely the authors weren't actually thinking about mm -hmm. this technique. Mm -hmm. Does he really think this in depth about a flower? <laughs> <laughs> he was just drunk one night, be like, <laughs> wrote it. People like he's like, cool, I got money now. To be all like. Mm -hmm. Or you're like, <laughs> or, or like, not to me. Who knows anymore? I'm just. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine that though? Some like drunk author wrote this book, and then they get all this money. And they're like, why did you write this such in-depth book? It's like, I was drunk. You know, <laughs> hanging out with the dudes, got drunk. Now I'm an author. And some jello shots. Some jello shots. <laughs> uh -uh. No, be of age to drink. <laughs> responsibly, anyway. Drink okay. responsibly. Yes. Okay, if you choose one place to go on vacation for the rest of your life, where would it be and why? Is that even a vacation anymore? Because if you live yeah. there for the rest of your life, or is it like, or is like every time, or is it like every time you vacation, you have to go yeah. to that uh, place? So, for example, it's like I'm gonna go on a trip. I'm gonna go blank. Hmm. And it's only that one place. I'd go somewhere with the beach, but that's like every place. But like so islands, islands, <laughs> Philippines. Like True. I feel like I wouldn't. <laughs> See, is this because yeah. yeah, you could also make the like thing of like, could you say Europe? Because then that's multiple countries Ooh, inside of one. Because mm, it is go a, to the whole of Europe. Yeah, because <laughs> then that's so many places. True. You could go to somewhere different per each vacation. Like, yeah, how broad is this vacation? Thing? Well, it says just choose one place to go. Because I could assume. I'll go to the world. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go to Earth. <laughs> But do you know what I mean? Because like I would say okay, Europe Mars. is a place. <laughs> <laughs> I would just get out of here. If I had to choose like one place, I'd have to go with Malta. It's just it's my it's my family's it's home your place. Hometown, but yeah. like even so, it's such a beautiful place. Like you can do so much stuff during the day, and then at night mm. you see all these people like going to clubs and all like the places where well, probably illegal stuff here happens is like totally <laughs> fine over there. Like it just changes like overnight, and it's yeah. such a cool thing to see. Plus the food's great. Yeah. I miss the food. I think either, I don't know, it's either the Philippines or more leaning more towards America because one, I have family there, and two, like, it's just like, there's a lot of things there. Mm, yeah, like, there's enough. And you, you can pretty much do anything you want there. Yeah, no, that's true. And like, they have beaches and not beaches, and shopping and not <laughs> shopping, and food and not food. But like, as well, like, even if there wasn't, like, let's say you want something from America and you're in the Philippines, you could just order online. <laughs> Just be like, can, sure. you, can you put it to my vacation house, please? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is with the Philippines, it's that it's kind of also in the middle of nowhere. Sort yeah. of. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I also, don't... the people are not very nice. <laughs> yeah, the crime is not very nice. The crime rate is. And the and the Ooh. corruption. Isn't that like everywhere though? And the yeah, pollution. Yeah, but, but in the Philippines, it's more overt. We um, know that the they're <laughs> Because I know when I went to like Thailand, we were talking to like the taxi driver and he was like, yeah, nah, we have like a zero crime rate. I'm like, how do you do that? And he goes, well, pretty much it's like, if you do a crime, you get hung. So no one does crimes. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, that makes sense. With it. It's like, ah, I can see why no one wants to commit a crime now. <laughs> no one wants to die. 
Mm-hmm. But it makes sense though, if you've got such a strong like thing Punish like that, it, instead of yeah. it being like, oh, you get to go to jail where you get fed and all this stuff. Because mm. like, it's not like sure it sucks, but it's not. It's not death. Bad. Yeah, because <laughs> when you think about it, like if I was on the streets and stuff like that, and I committed a small crime, let's say I'm in jail for like a month, at least I'm getting fed. Least that getting I can. Food. But I, you also I, like you know so. your whole record thing. Yeah, but if I'm on the streets, I get food, water, shelter. I get to so I want to go bathe. I've got friends now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't sound too it's, much like a bad You know, thing. Don't, if it's for like a simple crime, I'm not saying that you should go do, commit anything to go <laughs> get a vacation, but like, do you know what I mean? I, I get it, but like at the same time, just... Yeah, I, I get your point, but I'm also not saying like, you know, go commit a crime because you can get a nice spa treatment, you know? Spa, <laughs> spa treatment in jail? <laughs> I mean... Five star resort hotel, <laughs> let's go. I mean, they can scrub their own bags, it's up to them, but... <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? Like, I can see why some people would do it. Mm, I guess, I guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's me. <laughs> if you could pick a certain skill to learn instantly, what would it be? Mm. So any skill in the whole world you can learn instantly, what would How it be? How many? One. One skill. If I say speak multiple languages... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that, but you could say maybe understand all languages, speak all languages. Is that yes, a skill? you can. Ma- maybe you could say like the skill to be able to learn languages quickly. Oh, so, yeah. for that example, works. instead of taking like let's say like six months to learn a language, you might learn it in a couple of weeks, type of thing. Or do you know what I mean? Like you learn yeah, a lot you learn quicker. It flu- yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So yeah, that would be what, what languages would you learn? Mm. Language. What, yeah. What Which would ones would I learn? Yeah. Um, I want to actually finish learning Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I never finished that. Non mi piace la altra materia. That's the only thing I learned. Si. Um, <laughs> what else? Just see. Something Polynesian, maybe. Some mm. island. Yeah. Just something Samoan, different. That kind of, yeah. You can understand Moana better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when she screams, I am Moana, you try to understand <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand it. <laughs> she means more than just I am Moana. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> what about you? What would be your skill of choice? Because, like, yeah, I like the language one. Maybe, maybe cooking, that's a, that's a helpful so, one. So please learn how to cook. So, in other words, how to be a housewife. <laughs> <laughs> or just like, it's not even being a housewife, it's just being a functional human being at this point. Ah, so you want the skill of how to adult. That's it. That's it. So you learn how to cook, one. To clean, you know how to pay, pay bills, you know what taxes are. Oh, I need to know that. <laughs> you won't wake up with zero dollars in your bank account. Ooh, these are all very... You might make up with a dollar in your bank account. <laughs> these are very important. I, yeah, okay, how, you might I want learn. the skill to how to adult. You might learn how to get a job. Stop. <laughs> this and turns into like, a roast yeah. session. You can have my job. <laughs> just alternate with shift times. Yeah, yeah, you should I, do that. Just split your shifts in half. You should have half of the other half. <laughs> but like, hey, Bianca, I don't want to go to work today. Can you take it? <laughs> I mean, that's what you already do for the other job. It's, yeah. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like it goes well. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think you. you. Skill. Yeah. Me, skill. You, skill. I, skill. You skill. If I skill, it would be... Hmm. I don't know, for me, my brain goes to archery. I love archery. I'd love to learn how to do it. Like, and how to do it well, too. Like, how to pick the right bow, like, how to do stuff like that. I I was good at it, but that was just by chance. (laughs) Like, good (laughs) compared to, like, other year seven students. (laughs) Not even that. Like, I used to, like, whenever we went to, you know, Green Hills, Mm -hmm. I'd always just stay at the archery place. Yeah. And that's all I do. It was great. (laughs) Yeah, and so, like, I love it. I am cat in the (laughs) seventies. I love archery. Like, it's such a fun skill, but it's one of those things where it's like, it's kind of useless, but it would it's be <laughs> useful at the same yeah. time, too. Because you need to throw something, you just need to be like, hold on, let me just. Just wait aim for that it. zombie apocalypse. Yeah, then, you're Ooh, be then I'll be decent at something. <laughs> Until then, nope. Oh, if you had a talk show, what would your first three guests be? So it can be celebrities, non celebrities, doesn't matter. So you can pick any three. Let's say they have to be alive. Okay. Just to narrow it down the tent. Because there's a lot hmm. of people. There's, there's a lot. Tom there's Holland. Lot. Yes. Um, a lot of Tom Holland. Really, I've been watching a lot of Glee lately, so Leia Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hayley Kyoko. Oh, nice. Just because. Yeah. My idol. <laughs> Alright, you got one more person to pick then. Oh, I do. <laughs> That's what three Ooh. means. One, two. I can't count. <laughs> it goes one, two, three. three. <laughs> and then it goes... Four, five, six. <laughs> well, wait. This is this is stunning news to me as someone who studies maths. Wait, what? <laughs> yes, yeah, so it goes seven, eight, 
10 9. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shock. Okay. Something, someone iconic. I know for me, my first one would have to be like Jennifer Aniston. Because I, uh, I have so much respect for her. Just as like a human in general, the amount of respect I have yeah. for her. I have had to do like, do that. And then someone who's like a social media influencer, whatever you want to call them. I don't really know who to choose. Because I would probably do like someone on the lines of like Lily Singh. But she's having her own like tonight. So, yeah, she has her own talk show. show. Yeah, late night with Lily Singh, which mm-hmm. props to her. Like, that's so cool because she's the first openly bisexual woman to ever have a talk show so which is really cool like to love that. get that recognition yes. uh, <laughs> I can't click <laughs> okay let's do one more we can do one more okay 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 if I'm just gonna pick a YouTuber. I'm gonna get my boy PewDiePie. Like, <laughs> I need because he needs. Why would he even be like in an interview though? He needs good press though. That's the thing. <laughs> the amount of because everyone on YouTube like who does like media stuff that always gives him really bad press when he's done a lot of good stuff. So I'd like to give him and just YouTube in general some really good press of my own talk enough. show. Gotcha. Yeah, and then if I could add another two, I'd bring you two one. Aww. I love you both. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah. Tom Holland, mm-hmm. you count as my celebrity. <laughs> Not a celebrity. Tina Fey. Yes. And, Ooh. Wow. And, and like, I, like you want like actor? I want to do actor, like com- comedian, and then music mm. person. And I'm trying to. Ooh, oh, what music? What do you have? Music. Mm-hmm. What music do I listen to? Does Akmu count as one person? Oh <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> that is yeah. Do Acme. it. We're doing Akmu. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the person who was in. Um, it, it was a uh, Netflix show. Uh, Netflix movie came out. It's like. You're my maybe or something oh, like that. Call, uh, Ellie Wong! Yes! Yes, Ellie Wong. She is good. I would have her too. She's hilarious. She's like a I mum of two. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. great. Have you seen her shows? I've, on Netflix? I've seen one of them. And baby then I Cabra saw... and there's... Yeah, uh, Hard Knock Wife, I think. Yeah, and then she did like a little show with um, Tan France. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Queer the Funny. Oh my god, that was great. <laughs> I love that. That was so good. I was like, oh, I love you more and more. Mm-hmm, <laughs> you were great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was just so No, cool. wait, no. Okay, change Ooh. my mind. Who? Okay. Uh, John Mulaney, Tom Holland, Tina Fey. That's a great trio. I just want to talk to John Mulaney. <laughs> you just want to talk. <laughs> just be like, I just, I just say his bits back to him. Well, if we're going comedian, then I'd go Jockley because, you know, Filipino representation. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Go for also, it. he just, he would roast my mum. I know it. <laughs> I love how that. Short hair, glasses. <laughs> you just have a segment where it's just called Roasting My Mother. <laughs> I feel like it'll be, it'll be good. Yeah. Oh my god. Would that be your segment on one of your yes. shows? No, it's the whole show. <laughs> it's the <just laughs> entire show. <laughs> it's just called Roast, and then, like, for each different segment for a different person, they have to roast someone completely different. Oh, yeah. So mm-hmm. each person has to rate, roast someone in your family. Just different Or just someone you know. <laughs> yes. Bring in random people. <laughs> and then they can roast other celebrities. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. They'd have the chance, too. I'd love that. My mum mm-hmm. would love that. That would be so funny. <laughs> Be like, well, you roasted me. Listen here, sweetie. <laughs> Let me just roast you now, and then just completely annihilate them. Mm-hmm. Oh, start some drama, and that'd be great. <laughs> I think you just want to start drama. I think that's what we're coming down to. Shh. <laughs> we don't spill beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you could be in. Wow, well, I can't read. <laughs> if you could instantly be an expert in a subject at school, or would we'll you say at high school? What would it be? Maths. You are an expert. No, I need to become more of an expert. <laughs> That's, That's what you're studying. There's no point in I love you it. Let coming. me be smarter. Yeah, pretty. But <laughs> that's just cool, you guys. You could just say no, many cool things. We ain't saying it ain't cool. We're but just saying you're already learning it. <laughs> so yes, because I'm learning English, I would love to be like smart at science. So then I'm almost an all-rounded person. I don't need to be an all-rounder. <laughs> you want to be a, like a little point. Just, yeah. Just nerd. <laughs> I don't need to be an all-rounder. I'm good. But yeah, mine would definitely be science. Because then it covers like biology, chemistry, Ooh. physics. Yeah, no, mine's the other one. be languages. <laughs> Polyglot. Yeah. yeah, you can be... Is that, is that what they're called? Yeah, people who learn... Like who know a lot of languages, right? My, uh, my auntie's one. She's She knows like eight different languages fluently. Ooh. She's a linguist, so she like help yeah, she talks fair. to different people fair enough but like <laughs> she loves it i haven't seen her in like 
mm, a long time, 15 years. So, hi, Auntie, if you're seeing me, you maybe come see us eventually sometime when you're free. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> it's so depressing so quick. What was she? Last time I saw her, like four. The only memory I have of her, she was playing a video game on her laptop. I just remember she was like a girl character, kept jumping and then dying and respawning in the same spot repetitively. And she just kept going back and then she finally finished it and then left. I don't remember anything oh. else. This. I seriously cannot tell you anything. She looks like nothing. <laughs> I was like four, oh maybe God. three. I don't remember anything. Although we have a photo of her in like a red wig and people were like, oh, you look like her. I'm like, do I? She's my half auntie, so I wouldn't know. So, <laughs> cool, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. We're going to guess what each other's favorite classes were in high school. Okay, so, do you want to know what I studied? Okay, let's list off all the subjects we studied in high school, like in, in year twelve. In year twelve or senior year. In senior year, and then we can guess from there. Okay, should we start with you? Yeah. So I did um, math. Are doing like the actual names? Yeah, so I do maths, actual. Ad, ad, spe, math specialist, um, English lit, English literary studies, um, chemistry, physics. Okay. I'm trying to think of which one you would probably like the physics. most. I feel like she would like physics, yeah, but I'm trying to think if there was like possibly a math that she liked, that's why she went with her path. Well, I know she likes maths, but yeah. like, I feel like it wasn't her favourite. What, like, what is the subject that I always was looking forward to having a class in? Physics. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll go with physics. Yeah, it's physics. <laughs> I had a really good physics teacher, and like, all the topics were pretty interesting, and yeah. I made like really nice mind maps. <laughs> That was your highlight of the day. That your is mind maps. the cutest thing. Oh my goodness, those mind maps, those, they were good. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a picture. Oh, please do. I'd love to see it. But it's good when you have a good teacher too, because then it makes the subject yeah. so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you're like, yes, I have a good teacher. I'm excited to actually go to class, because I have one for uni. I'm like, I don't want to go to class. Yeah. <laughs> he stressed me out too much. Mm. He literally refused to email one of my, e he refused to answer one of my emails because it wasn't formatted properly. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? I like, just asked you a question. My teachers are just happy, like, wait, you email us? <laughs> Literally, it was a question of, like, hey, in the rubric, it says that we can use internet sources, but you told us books only. Is this true? And then in class, he's like, oh, someone sent me an email, but I refused to answer it because it wasn't formatted properly. I'm like, ah. Oh. I literally wrote, hello, asked the question, and I wrote, thanks, Jada. How much more do you want? Do you want, like, my full address details and my life story <laughs> as well? Like, I can give you an essay on that too, but you probably won't like the format of that either. Okay, but yeah, what subjects you studied in your twelve? For me, oh god, I just need to remember now. I did. It was not that long ago. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> I did photography, food tech, English essentials, and <laughs> I should remember the other one, but I don't. Did you do outdoor ed? No, no that was year eleven. Hmm. What other subjects were there? <laughs> we'll just say those three. Okay. Um. It's clearly I didn't like the other one. Oh, child studies. <laughs> So it's not child studies. <laughs> uh, photography? Either food tech or photography, yeah. So, would you like to just say those ones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? What's yours? I said photography. It's actually English. Oh. So you don't want to go to A and I liked it the most. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason was, is because... Look, mood. <laughs> yeah, no, but because the teacher allowed me, instead of to write, to film videos. Uh, because I was so yeah. bad at writing. <laughs> she literally yeah. was like, you're a lot better doing speaking, why don't you do that instead? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I used to do videos and I felt a lot more confident. And then child studies was my second favourite. Photography was my third and food tech was last. Ooh. The only thing I liked in food tech was I catered for um, a group of actors. And that was it. Oh, that was fun. We that sounds fun. That was fancy fun. <laughs> it was in some weird place in the middle of nowhere. And we just catered for them and they filmed us. And I don't know where it is now. I should see if I can find it somewhere. <laughs> sounds fun. Okay. And... Um, okay, so mathematical methods, English literally studies. Literary studies? Literary studies. Literally studies. Literally studies. Literally studies. Literally studies. Literally studies. Literally studies. I literally studied English. <laughs> English literary studies, biology, chemistry, and design. Engle English. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I, I think only because I'm going to say design because I've heard you talk about it so much. <laughs> Whereas, like... <laughs> no, but design is a lot of work. Like, yeah. Like, I don't know. But I feel like she enjoyed some of the work. I'm not going to say all, but some of it. That, but that's the only one I've heard her talk about the most. Huge. So, which one was it? 
was actually English lit. Hey, good job. <laughs> That's because I'm because doing they... so well in it. So I'm like, yes, I can finally get a good grade. Yeah, you got confident in it. <laughs> yeah, but what, what design is a close second though. The only reason I didn't say it was my first is because I didn't really like my end product. I thought it was really bad, so uh... I was really like upset with it in those last just final the weeks. Just the artist, artistic yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, it was just more of a like it didn't meet my standards type of thing yeah yeah no. i do love it that's fair though huh. okay do you have a personal hero in your life so non-celebrity nothing like that like no. a <laughs> like a like you know someone you actually know <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> well, i'm not even kidding though like when I think about it, you're the only constant that's been in my life that's been like supportive. Apart from you, of course. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like apparently I've screwed up. It's fine, I'll just oh, leave. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Feeling like a villain. Shh, she's sucking up to the host. <laughs> I am, I'm sucking up, but like, yeah. <laughs> Love that. No, I was actually going to say you too, though, to be honest. Aww. Just because, like, the way you guys have, like, You've grown up so much, but like no, like I even, <laughs> but like even little things like that, just to like even the way like we've stayed friends, the way we've talked about different things, having going through different conversations about all different things, and you both just really inspire me constantly, and I'm so thankful to have both of you in my life. Like, I'll even like talk to my friends, but like I have really awesome like best friends from primary school, and I love them so much, and they mean the world to me, and. All of these things and they're like oh i want to meet them like you should they're the coolest people in the world and i just like love talking about you both so much and you just both mean the world to me oh, so i love okay. you both. i'm gonna lean over and try and hug you now <laughs> okay, okay. I, I this. can i just say snaps and then be done snaps. Snaps. Yeah. <laughs> sure that works too but no it is it is true yeah. and i'm not trying to like suck up for camera or whatever but, but like i try and tell you girls how much you mean to me and i probably don't do it enough but it's cute Whenever we get that random message from you, it's just like, hey, a reminder, I love you both. I'm always like, that's it's so cute. disgusting. <laughs> We're too cute and adorable. <laughs> Ugh, because the it, is, it is true. Like, even when I'm talking to, like, Jared and I'll be like, oh, you know, I'm catching up with, like, my sisters. He's like, oh, I hope you have a great time with them. You know, they always seem to treat you well and all that stuff. I'm like, well, yeah, they're my sisters. Of course they will. And I love <laughs> like, them forever. Has, yeah, there hasn't been a time when I'm with you guys and I, and I finished the, like, whatever In day. a bad mood. In a bad yeah. mood, exactly. It's always been a good mood. Yeah, or it's always like, you know, you, like, finish. It's like, oh, I miss them more now. <laughs> Why did I see them all? <laughs> ah, cries. This is just so busy. But, like, we still... It's like talk and make up mm -hmm. time for each other and that's all that matters so. love you both <laughs> oh how cute okay <laughs> going to something less cute oh. are there any current books that you're reading I, that haven't are read, I haven't read a book in like a couple months <laughs> is it so a I textbook think, technically i am reading book good omens by terry pratchett and Ooh. Neil is that um that's the one that was, the tv this, series yeah, the, with david tennant yeah there was yeah. a tv series about i read the book before but i am reading it again Bet with my one. boyfriend oh, <laughs> oh, oh is it a good book so far? Good book. <laughs> would you recommend it would definitely recommend it have read it like mm. three times so that's good again. yeah awesome what about you have you read any books um textbooks don't count right <laughs> they don't count because you used to be and, like the um, biggest reader neither of books, books that you've read for english <laughs> <sighs> Wow. Ooh. I actually haven't read in a while. Wow. Actually, well, because I've mainly been reading, like, poetry books lately. Yeah, so is that for kind of English? No, it's just No, me. but that's not books. That's yeah. still something you read. I suppose, but, like... <laughs> well, what are they? Do you remember that um, one? So, the one I'm reading at the moment is Langleaves, um, Pretty Looks Good On You, or something like that. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that's not the title, but it's something like that. Yeah, <laughs> but like, are you enjoying it at least? Like, yeah. Then that's all that matters if you're enjoying the book. Like, I'm still stuck in my Shadowhunter phase, so I I'm reading... Like, I think it's called Love Looks Pretty on You. Something, something along, along those lines. Something along those lines. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm reading the newest Shadowhunter book because I've got all there's of them. There's new still. Oh yeah, there's new ones. I there's a whole... The one. There's a whole book dedicated to, to, to just Magnus and... So, <gasps> and Oh my god, it's just Malik and it's great. It's Oh wait, it's is a, that the, what, the is Red Scroll one? one? Oh, that's the Red Scroll one. A new one. That's when they go on their journey. Um you, there's a part in the book where they say briefly that they went on like a trip together. Yeah. Mm, that's, that's talking about that. There's more books coming out for that, but I'm so excited. Oh, I, love them so I never much. had a Shadow Hunter space. Well, there's like 13 plus books you want to read them. Nice. Um, okay. <laughs> so the book I'm currently reading now is all the ghost stories from the Shadow Market. So it's 
it goes back from I think it's 1600 to now Ooh, yeah. it's just all the different stories so it, co- it covers all the characters from the past to now That's so cool yeah I, <laughs> I mean you can borrow one of the it. it's great though I'm loving it because it just it isn't like your stereotypical like you know like Jason his stories it's not just the main character mm. it's talking about like Will and even before Will which was the like the main character in the like older books and it talks like even a little bit before that and then it mentions stuff about like how like they discovered this for the first time and you know it, yeah. it's going all throughout and it's such a just a really good book and I'm having fun with it no 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 but it's cute sh- shut <laughs> up Bianca <laughs> shut up <laughs> says you you're the biggest nerd here guys <laughs> I know says her um okay what is your favourite movie um could we guess each other's favorite movie? Oh, no, no, I no, I need, now I need to think of my favorite. I don't no, even I think actually we're good. need to choose. I generally don't think I could guess your favorite movies. You is, don't? I don't think so. Yeah, because I don't know my own. Like, yeah, yeah so like I don't know my own. <laughs> yeah, you. What What would you think it would be? Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a fair guess. <laughs> I was gonna say like something along the lines of Jurassic Park. It has to be a classic, like. Hmm. I don't know why when I think Bianca, I think of Ghostbusters. I have no idea no, why. Really? I I've seen it like why. once. I just feel like that you would fit into the film. <laughs> I think that's uh, why. She would. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I see it. Mm. Is it because I have glasses? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Solely because of the glasses. Um, I don't know. If, I'm trying to think what would be a good film for Bianca. Mm. See, I can't think of films. My brain straight up automatically goes back to like the time where we watched the Matt Smith episode where you were started crying because he was <laughs> passing. That, t- that, uh, that checks out. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of. It was like the Christmas special. Oh, that checks out. That was the only thing I could think what, what, of as a movie. <laughs> I don't, like, I'm gonna think it's my, like, it might be like a Disney movie, like a Disney musical. A Disney musical? Like, what? Oh. You just mean like a Disney film in general? Or? Like a Disney film with music in it. So all of them? Yeah. Well, not all of them. Like, not all of them do, actually. Well, like, all like the princess ones do. Yeah, yeah true. Then like me. Mulan. Like, yeah, like, I was thinking Mulan. Mulan yeah. Know. But like, I didn't... Mm, or, mm, I do love Mulan. Mulan's a great film. Mm-hmm. I used to get Mulan and Pocahontas mixed up, which is so bad, but... We should watch Mulan. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <you>. She <laughs> just keeps going. She just keeps dancing. Where? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say Milan's your favorite movie. Maybe, but like, mm. what's a movie you see more than twice? <laughs> <laughs> just any Endgame. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> more um, no, more than twice. Yes, more than twice. Have you seen any film more than twice? Oh, I've seen. I used to watch Pitch Perfect like religiously. <laughs> I remember when you watched that phase. <laughs> That's a great fra- phase. Oh, but yeah. maybe Mean Girls. But that's, I feel like that's because we force you to watch it. I don't like that yeah. movie, too. I don't like that like, movie. We just, it's a group kind of thing. Yeah. You don't really watch yeah, it by yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the last movie like I chose to watch by myself. Was I, it a Star I, Wars film? I watched La La Land. Did you like it? Yeah. I didn't. I, I think wow. <laughs> I think for me, I only didn't like it because there was a part in it, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it just made me go, no, it, it was ruining one of the sounds for me. And... I don't know, it just, it did it, it seems, didn't stick with you. Yeah, yeah, it just seemed like it was more of a try-hard of to be yeah, musical yeah, than it, was, it being a musical. a musical. I don't know, it just felt like, you know, let's talk for two seconds and then let's stick a song because mm. that's what musicals do. And yeah, then let's quickly, oh, yeah. you know. No, I get that. That was you my favorite. Really like bring, mm. bring it on. Bring it on was good. I would watch that any day. <laughs> no, I got Bianca's choice. High School Musical. <laughs> Honestly, no, I didn't grow up with High School Musical. Yeah, she didn't watch it. I didn't watch any Disney films when I was growing up. That's sad. Like, you know, it's like Disney movie. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney original movies. So, I guess you just... <sighs> Milan, I guess? I guess? I, I swear I have a movie that I like though, right? I don't know, apparently mm. not. <laughs> You're more of a sh- TV show person. I guess. Well, then what's... Well, I... See, if we say what's your favorite TV show, my brain just goes off to who, but then, like, let's not pick that. Mm, let's um, not be that person. <laughs> let's not be that human. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I need to find my favorite movie. Mm. That's what it, we're on a journey you just of self-discovery. You just have to that you need to find yourself. <laughs> exactly, yes. exactly. Love yourself, and then the movie you love shall come to you. Okay, okay. That will somehow work. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite film? Was it Did you say Pitch Jurassic Park? Perfect or Jurassic Park? Or, Jurassic? or oh, okay. Birth or None or Life? Help? I think. Hmm. 
Because there's a lot of good films out. Yeah, there is. So that's kind of... Uh, or is there like a series of movies that you love? <laughs> yes. I'm that person. Yeah. I mean, because I love like Pirates of the Caribbean. That whole series oh, is great. Yeah. Like, that's a good fair enough. I that's... think it's a good series. Spider Man into the Spider Verse. That was a Narnia. I need to watch. Oh, The Chronicles of Narnia. Narnia. Yes. My teacher actually brought up The Chronicles of Narnia, and he's like, I don't know what this is. And we're like, I was like, <laughs> sorry. I think it was like, excuse me. And everyone else was like, I'm not entirely sure either. I'm like, yeah, it's Narnia. And they're like, I oh. Love Narnia. They're like, oh, it's that one. I'm like, <gasps> and then someone was like, I didn't like them though. The second one was really bad. And I was like, how dare you? I was like, how, what? I was like, how <laughs> dare you, sir? Go away. Go sit in a corner or something. Yeah. I don't care. Oh. I'm just so, yeah, Jurassic Park or Narnia? <laughs> okay, so Either you like creatures is. that don't. Yes. Are not real. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Both of <laughs> That's kind of sad. Wow. What if it's also real? They just don't, don't exist now. Real. Yeah, they don't exist anymore. Yeah. So they're not That's real bad. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gasping because I said, um, what's his name isn't real. What's his name? Uh, As As Aslan? Aslan? The lion? The lion, yeah. Because he's real, but is he not? Because he's a real. Lions are real. But is he? <laughs> Jada, lions are real. 2019. <laughs> <laughs> because lions are real, but he's not real. So, does that make him real or not? <laughs> it's a fictional book. But is it a fictional book? Because he's a real animal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> what do you mean? Guess my favorite film. Well, okay. It's not that hard. Star Wars. Nightmare Before Christmas. Thank you, oh, sweetie. Sorry, sweetie. <laughs> Come on, we just talked about this. Yeah, but we also talked about Star Wars. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> true. Who was our favourite teacher in primary school? I was going to say, Roberts. hands down, Mr. Roberts. I never had Mr. Roberts. Or Miss... Um, Miss Valenti? Miss Valenti. Those two were oh. our duo. I was going to say Mr. Panos. Yes! Oh, oh. Dodgeball! <laughs> They're like the top three, I have to say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can't choose between them. Like, loved every other teacher. But like, you know. <laughs> oh. oh. Like, um, yeah, i got to say Roberts. Oh, although, yeah, no, I have to say, they're like the top three. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They, could you imagine all three of them teaching a class? Yes. That would be fun. Damn, that'd be such a good dodgeball game. <laughs> that would be, oh. They were just such nice teachers as well, but they were nice as well and as... And they can teach. Mm-hmm. They can teach. You can have nice teachers that can't teach, mm. but you can have mean teachers that can teach. Yeah, which we had. One of those. Yeah. Um, but we had, like, they were really nice. They listened to what the students kind of wanted, but also mm, yeah. they respected them as students and not just, like, you're a number. I'm going to treat you like, like a you're number. a child. Yeah. You're a child. I can tell what to do type of thing, mm-hmm. which I felt like what some people did, but that's fine. What superpower would you like to have? You're not a genie. Just pick a superpower. I don't know. <laughs> so you want, um, tele- is it telepathy? Telekinesis. Telekinesis. I always get those mixed up. Telepathy and Because <laughs> they sound similar. Teleportation. Teleportation. Ooh. Ooh. Because then, like one, like, okay, don't need to drive anywhere. <laughs> don't have to pay. Don't, don't have, have to pay. pay for it. Don't have to, you could like do vacations like pretty much like True. instantly. And then you don't have to worry about flight time. Getting yeah. Back. That's a fair one. But then you could also use yours to, so she can move herself. I can fly things. <laughs> yeah, I guess. She can fly because she can literally <laughs> just pick herself up but and like, move. But like, can you imagine like you're lying on your bed, right? And it's like, oh, I need to charge my phone and you just teleport to the other side of the bed instead of actually just like rolling Instead of rolling over. over. But I could make my things charge. <laughs> she, could just, she can be a wizard and be like, give me this. Mm. Think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if I still wanted to be, you know, moral and pay for flights, go through the airport, I can sneak stuff in because I can make the machines like <laughs> not detect stuff. You can grab like the If you wanted to still be moral and take flights, <laughs> I, mean, I can stuff. sneak things in. I meant like food. <laughs> yeah, you'll steal the stuff from first class. You'll just see like a walk into the air. <laughs> just lands on your plate. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. See, I would never want to read people's minds because that's just oh, that's dangerous. I, that's I, too I dangerous. Just, mm, 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 mm. I think if I had to choose, I would have. I think I would just do something like. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that's like good well rounded because I don't want to fly. I don't want to be yeah, like it's strong. Yeah, really like specific. Yeah, I guess like. 
See, like, what is a superpower? Like, what is classified as a superpower? Is it just Things. stuff that superheroes have? So something that you can't do currently. Uh, Luke? you can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> Some, okay, then something we... that no one can do. Like, no one can do without the aid of, like, something else. Because, like, when you say that, my brain goes to, like, oh, like, Captain America, but he was just pumped full of steroids. Yeah. And he can do that. Like, most people can do that. So is that a superhero? Yeah, power? sure. Yeah. So, like, my superhero is to pump with steroids. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, I'm just gonna say, it's not a superhero power, but I just would like to, like, learn like self-defense type of stuff kind of like black oh, yeah. widow like how she is oh, martial arts yeah prowess. yeah just be I like a badass can i be that <laughs> is that my superpower that would be cool mm -mm -mm. which season fits your personality the best so we'll each pick for each other so what season do we think fits bianca the best si spring not summer the, autumn or winter so not what she likes but what would fit her the her best. as a personality what do we think Ooh, she is i see her as an Autumn. Person. I agree. I was I gonna you, say the same. <laughs> I think it was awesome because you're very like you like to have, like be like rugged up and warm and comfortable, but you also just like I feel like I feel like Autumn people are very like relaxed and chilled, but like still like it's like perfect. She library dresses weather. like Autumn. She dresses like Autumn. <laughs> 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 Looks down. Oh yeah, I'm wearing a sweater. Oops, <laughs> this is not helping my case. Yeah. Okay, what would Erin be? I feel like she's winter. Winter? I was gonna say summer, going the complete opposite. Well, why do you say that? Because I didn't. Because like she's like very beachy. <laughs> but true. But I'm thinking personality. Personality. Wise, I feel like she's winter because winter. like yeah. again, she likes to be in her own element. She likes to be very relaxed. Yeah, and true, true, true. She can be, and I love you. You know this, but like you can be a little bit guarded sometimes. Uh, yes. But like, <laughs> yeah, I could see winter. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very like, yeah. But people still love you anyway. I love the cover ups. <laughs> and Bianca's like, mm. I get the beach aspect of summer, yeah. but I don't like the heat of summer. Yeah, that's yeah. why I was thinking like winter, but then could you put her in like spring? But then I'm like, no, she's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She ain't no hay fever, but then also like you need a spring in your step to be spring. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> I am not a very motivated person. <laughs> so, what's. So, so winter? Winter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then for you, I think summer. I see summer. What's Summer. Mm. summer. What's your reasoning? In summer. <laughs> because, because. For, you, you for just, one thing, you just said you were looking forward to summer. <laughs> and, okay. and the other thing I said, you have a very like bright personality. Yeah, that you that always, like, and you always like bring sunshine into our lives. Oh, cute. Okay, the only reason I said I'm looking forward to summer is so I can drink with you girls. Why the fuck? Like, <laughs> to be honest, because. So spring then. So spring. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say because like lately I've been doing like a lot more stuff that makes me feel more body confident so like I'm excited for like summer to come so Aww. then like I can feel more confident Yay! Yay! because like you know I've been a little bit of like stuff whatever but like I've been going to the gym like three times a week and I've yeah. lost like seven kilos or Boys, something of weight so and like you know I'm eating healthy and all this stuff so I'm trying to be like better as a human <laughs> because like I guess you don't know this, but at the beginning of the year, I wrote myself a list of things to do for the year. So like, you know, like a bucket mm, yeah, list okay, or whatever. Yes. Yeah. So the first thing I wrote was to like, be a better human, just in general. So I, under that, I wrote like, you know, be a better friend, be a better sister, yeah. be a better, you know, like daughter oh, and mother this. and like all this stuff. Yeah. And then I wrote under there like ways I can better myself. So like, you know, always telling my friends how much they mean to me and making sure that they know I'm there and want to support them. and. You know, like, I even wrote, like, being a better girlfriend and, like, listing all the different ways and just stuff like that. So I'm trying to do that a lot more and I'm just, like, hoping that eventually I'll get to the point where I am happy in who I am and that I feel like I'm doing enough for everyone else around me too. Aww. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, like, my kind hugs. of goal. Hugs. I say as a describe your arm. <laughs> she just goes, hug. <laughs> I hug your arm. Um... But yeah, that's what <laughs> that went so sad real quick. <laughs> okay, what would be the title of your autobiography? Oofed. I think it's just be oofed. Just accept that you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that. Um, I think mine would be it's okay to not be okay. Aww. Um, something, something. Something something. <laughs> Name it something. something, dot, something. Dot, dot. Um, okay. 
I'm thinking of words. Words coming head, <laughs> head. Can you name it just please? I'm thinking of words. <laughs> Ricky <laughs> <Bye, Bye>. <laughs> Um How to you how to at least try your best. <laughs> how to adult. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. I would read your books. Mm. Oh. Mm. If you had to choose a slogan for your life, what would it be? Can I repeat my autobiography? <laughs> yes, you may. That yes. would be like this title and the subtitle. <laughs> yes. So yours would just be that pretty much? Pretty much. Mm. What would be your slogan for life? Uh, be, better they, be better than yesterday's you. Ooh. I like that. Mm-hmm, very mm-hmm, Tumblr. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Snap. It is very Tumblr. Snap, snap, snap. Mm, I don't... What would mine be? Mine, I always used to write, and I think it's on my Facebook page somewhere, but it's like, even when the rain comes, look forward to the the rainbow. Or something like that. And I'm like, wow, I really foreshadowed my binders. Damn. Okay, maybe. <laughs> it's like, good to know. Ooh, okay. Do you collect anything? So, do you have a collection of things? Shells. Hmm. Seashells. By the I have, seashore? like, <laughs> I can't actually say that. What, seashells by the seashore? Seashells by the seashore. Seashells by the seashore. I love what you do it. You're, like, raising your eyebrows like, she, 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 she sells, sells seashells by, by the seashore. Is that it? Why are you lying to us? Because <laughs> that was the first time I've ever done it. <laughs> Snap. But yeah, I have like seashells on my windowsill and they're just like Aww. collecting. Do they have like a memory for like different things or is it just like, oh, that's oh, pretty? Oh no, I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like pretty a- much. <laughs> okay, that's cool. You? Plants. Yeah. Are they alive though? They are all alive. They are. Teach me how to keep plants alive. I'm killing them. Water them? I do. How long are you, okay, how many times are you supposed to water a cactus? Suck when it's Not that them? often. Okay, how long is not often? Like once a week less than. Okay, I do I do once a week and it's dead. Yeah. And oh, I get overwatered oh, oh. it. Uh-huh. Well I have a bonsai, but I don't have to water that very often either. Mm. I, if I remember to yeah. water it. See, because like, I got a succulent and then I water it once a week and I think it's dead now. Or because uh, it's not supposed to be brown. <laughs> oh my and God. I, I told mom, she's like, yeah, you're only supposed to water them like once a month. I'm like, what yeah, it's like it? very, it's very little. Oh, never mind. Then. I think I would more, th- more so in summer, but like very little. Yeah, yeah, because I just would do it on the weekend yeah. when I would remember. Because there's a water bottle next to it, and now it's yeah. just now it's just a pile of dirt. I should probably empty it. Damn. When I collect a snow globe, <laughs> <laughs> because you can't pull snow globes. Exactly. I have one from every place I've been, so it just is now lined the shelf in my wardrobe. There's too many, but I love them because I shake them and I'm like ah. There's no water left in this one because it's either broken or it's evaporated over time. Fun. Kinda we sad. also have magnets for like mm. every place we've been to. Yeah, is that like your like magnets. one tourist thing you collect? Yeah. And shot glasses. I don't know why because Same. we don't drink. Shot, 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 shot. Maybe you should shot. make some jelly shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Just don't bring up the jelly oh shots. <laughs> you did the first time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> do you do you collect anything like touristy wise in your family? Or? No, not really, actually. Not, like, do ever, or? You don't know, oh, click, like, t-shirts, maybe like, sh- or? maybe, like, a shirt. Yeah, like, the, oh, yeah. Like yeah. the shirt or sticker. Because my mom used to collect, like, the iron-on patches. Oh, yeah, that's oh, cute. I have a Yoshi one they got at, um, Avcon. Aww. Because I won a competition. <laughs> what competition was this? It was literally just, like, collect the flowers in Yoshi's craft and world. And I was like, okay. And then I got, like, four out of the five. And then he was like, well... No one's gotten five yet, so here you go. And I was like, <laughs> thank you, because I was like one off, and then I got hit by something. So I was like, like jumping to get it, and then something hit me, so I died. Aww. And I was, he was just like, just, just have it. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I was such a cute little kid, I loved it. Mm-hmm. Okay, what questions? I have like, I just have a list of like 30 questions, but I love it. We've, we've been doing this for like 48, almost yeah. 49 minutes now. As you can see by my fancy thing here, <laughs> that tells me how many times we spiked. <laughs> Because I had on like the loudest thing possible, so yep. no matter how quiet we were, it would pick us up anywhere. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning how to podcast everyone. we who? Mm. Ooh. Okay. Is there a certain person that has inspired you in your work life? Or in your case, school life? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see school life. unemployed for a... Fine, in your small appointment time, is there anyone in your life that inspired you to work better? Or harder? Or faster or stronger. Because I don't kill me. My manager. He's really nice. He's very intense, but he's nice. <laughs> yeah, but it's have that balance yeah. of both. 
Because then yeah. it's like you he's know. very motivated. That's what I like about him. He yeah. doesn't take people's shit either. Yeah, no, that's a good boss. <laughs> Props to them. You go well, I think. Okay, well, I have to say like my boss, which is also my cousin now. So shout out, Mel. Love you lots. Um, but no, she's just like one of those like she's a really good manager as well. Like obviously, yeah, she's my cousin, but. I'll ring her up and be like, hey, like, I'm running like five minutes later, you know, and I'll be like running to work. She'll be like, it's fine, just, you know, calm and relax, and I'll bolt down the stairs. I'm like, I'm so sorry. She's like, you're like two minutes late, relax. And then, you know, I'll be like, I gotta go by. She's like, no, just stop. I told them you'll be there in like 10 minutes. Just sit down, have a glass of water, relax, you know, and then go. It's okay. Like, she's very, like, relaxing, and she helps me if I'm stressed and stuff like that. But then, like, all the managers in general, because it's like managers and sub managers, yeah. everyone's really nice. I haven't had like a sub manager that was really rude or anything, which is good. And I think some of them refuse to like be mean to me because they're like, you're a Mel's cousin, aren't you? And I'm like, yes. They're like, ah, so I have to be nice to you, right? I'm like, yes. haha, no, treat me horribly. They're like, no, 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 no. I don't want to get fired. I'm like, haha, I like this. This is good. This is fun. <laughs> but no, like I, she's one of those cousins that like, she, even though that we're related, it doesn't matter if we're related or not like yeah. she will treat me like a normal person so they'd be like you're my cousin i'm gonna make sure that everything's okay for you when you must get the holy grail of treatments like no no mm. you're, you're you're allowed to fend for yourself yeah like obviously as a joke she'll be like hey that's my cousin you gotta yeah, yeah, yeah. like i've had one time it was my first shift and she took me there and she was like this is my cousin so you better treat her like shit please <laughs> like as a joke and they're like really like no you treat her well or well, you're gonna go home early they're like can we go home now <laughs> <laughs> so like it was a really good environment that way mm. but Okay. What about you? Okay, not really, not really the work, but like someone who inspires oh. my work ethic would yeah. be my dad because like he's not, oh. he's oh, always like dad. telling me to like do, do better, nice. you know, aim high. Mm. And also like, my coach. <laughs> <laughs> aim high, do better. Also, you know, take it easy on yourself when you don't get what you want. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. About, it's about keeping that level of expectations and making sure you're always trying to do your best. Mm. I love both your parents though. They're so cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I've never had a bad moment <laughs> with your parents, like ever. Yeah, because most of the time it's just spent making fun of me. But Pretty like, much. <laughs> it's great. Like either your mum will come up to me and be like, so, what do you think of this? And it's been so long, how have you been? And it would just ask me all these questions. And then your dad's just like, hey. And I'm like, hey, how are you? And it's like, do you want to watch some Jollibee commercials? Like, yes. <laughs> Pretty Let's much. do this. And then, like, your parents are just like, hello, it's so good to see you. And I'm like, hello, how have you been? And we just have, like, small talk, and it's always so nice. It's always sweet. Um, we'll do the final question. Oh, What's your proudest accomplishment that you've had to date? Oofed. Hmm. Is there anything that you've been like really proud of? Here finishing year 12. <laughs> yeah? They're pretty good. See, I can't even say that I haven't graduated yet. <laughs> oh, you will, don't worry. It's not hard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. Um, if I can get through it, you can get through it. It's not hard. I don't know. Um, Maybe getting art later. Yes, yeah. That was good. a really like. Shit, moment of the day. Yeah. <laughs> it meant a lot to you. Yeah. So that's probably it. Mm. Oh. What about for you? Was there anything musical? SRC was big because yeah. I didn't think I was gonna get that because it was a popular. Pop yeah, it's yeah. Very yeah. It's always popular. Popular kid kind of kind of role. Mm. Um. What else? Mm. Year twelve. That was big. I don't know, I feel, I feel like, I don't know, I feel bad because all of my, like, academic. No, but, like, you're a very, like, <laughs> you are an, you're an academic, academic person. person. Yeah. <laughs> but it's true, though, you yeah, are. Yeah, and, like, yeah. I just want, like, you don't want to be defined person. by those achievements, if you know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you put too much pressure on yourself academically, then that's your whole life. And yeah, you're sad. known as the academic kid. And, mm -hmm. you don't and then the as soon as you get something you don't like, then you're sad. Mm. <laughs> So yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. I guess year twelve. I was pretty. I was very happy with my year twelve results. Um, as I say, for one of the biggest accomplishments for me, I think it's right now. Like it's not. I'm not gonna say it's a. It's small but big at the same time. Mm. If that makes sense. Which is going back to like what kind of what we talked about a little bit before, but like getting that slowly that body confidence. Oh yeah. That's like a Woo! big. <laughs> Yeah. Um, like it's a big accomplishment but it's small at the same time because it's something as simple as like you know going from hating looking in the mirror to thinking I look okay like that's yeah, it's a small it's difference small change, but, but it, it makes, makes it all the difference yeah because then I feel like a bit a bit a lot better about my, myself and stuff like that but like if we had to go like academic wise 
like I could say like yeah all the awards and stuff like that was great but the one thing I love for an achievement was like in St. John when I ran like the junior division oh, yeah. Yeah. because you know there was a time it was like a year and a half where it was just me like I did all the teaching I got out all their books and ready I made sure like I helped every kid there was like 10 at one stage mm-hmm. I'd go around help them with spelling the whole lot like teach them for an hour pack up everything you know then do drill make sure everyone was in line and stuff like that mm-hmm. but to me that meant a lot because it was like yes I'm excited because a group of kids want to learn more about something they're proud to learn something they're actually excited they are having fun and it was something to look forward to every week and stuff like that and they really enjoyed it too and if I was off a week because I was sick they'd be like you know shut up (laughs) (laughs) they would be like you know like oh my god like why weren't you here last week you know we missed you and all this stuff and it just meant a lot because I was like I am making an impact on someone else yeah. yeah because these kids were all like under the age of 12 but really excited to learn first aid mm. and you know they were so keen and they're like yeah we want to learn it we want to know all these things and we teach them oh, different so things cute. so like instead of getting them to do like a simple bandage right we'd make it into a game mm. it's like whoever can do it the fastest can get like a chocolate frog yeah, yeah. but they had to do it correctly as well <laughs> so like you see them go like really fast and then work as a team and it would be really good and they'd get like a chocolate and then they would have mm. one each or you so know so what i've learned from the story is bribe kids with food they <laughs> it works anything. so well but like especially when you first have a group you do like the you remember played the m&m game where you like different colors represent different things so for example Sorry? <laughs> have you ever played that no so you grab like a handful of m&ms right and let's say you know there's like red blue yellow brown yeah, yeah, right? yeah. so let's say you have three red m&ms you would have to answer three facts about yourself oh okay do you know what i mean like blue would equal your favorite place to go on holidays and then how many m&ms you have would equal how many answers you could give to the questions Mm. and you would do that Mm. and i always used to do that as like you know when we come back from terms and stuff like that plus it puts them on sugar high and they send them home and their parents can look after them from there (laughs) (laughs) but it was just one of those things that i enjoyed and like it sucks because as of next year they're getting rid of the junior program altogether Aww. so there'll be no more young kids learning it which really sucks it can only be kids from ages i think 12 or 13 up can learn it <laughs> which is still like good to have a group but it sucks because like all the younger kids were so excited, so excited yeah. even the ones who are in the junior program now unless they turn 12 like in oh, the next they year they have to wait till they turn 13. they have to leave the like saint john mm. and they'll have to wait until they're 12 to come back so they can't even continue with yeah. the group they have mm-hmm. and it sucks because yeah. you're getting rid of like like the so many yeah because yeah. Yeah, a lot of them had friendship with like the cadets and the adults and all these things because we would all be in the same division and stuff like that. and now they have to leave mm. and a lot of them it was like you know it was their favorite place to be because you know got to hang out with their friends and all this stuff but now it's going because of like I think it's eth- ethic not ethical reasons but like money reasons yeah yeah which sucks but out of your control yeah Mm. it sucks but i mean i'm just glad that i love how i talked for so long about that i'm sorry no it's okay <laughs> no that's fair i don't know it means a lot to you yeah. So. It, yeah. and yeah we'll talk about this in a different podcast oh. but like um when i had an incident happen like you know last september i told you both about yes. it yeah. like when and then that happened and then not being able to go into like you know the juniors and all that stuff like it, that just broke me like not being able to you know teach cadets and juniors again and i understood it all but then like even going back now i'm going to a different division which was like the hated division of my last <laughs> one because like the people who are running my division now they don't cause they can't even say hello to me they won't look at me nothing and these are two people who were like my adults at the time yeah yeah refused yeah. to even look at me and it just it makes me feel horrible because i'm like you can't even bother to look in my direction. Yeah. Like, it, you, I don't ask you for anything. I'm not even asking for you to talk to me, nothing. It's simple hi is fine when I say hello. Like, but then for not to say anything, it just sucks. But, ah, moving on. <laughs> I compiled like a whole different list of podcast ideas. So, we might explore those in the future. So, actually, mum actually gave me one, which I thought was interesting. Sure. She wanted to talk about. And it will do the different one, but like, what's the diff? What is the difference about a relationship in reality versus what we expect? Oh, so that, that is a good one. Which is, Plum gave that to me because <laughs> she was saying, like, because yes. I know I had a lot of like different experiences. Oh, is the front camera off? I don't know, probably. We could just talk about it now. Like, <laughs> I mean, I was just gonna end and then we yeah, can do yeah, it in the next one. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I okay, can't yeah. feel my leg. <laughs> oh, okay. And end it and then we'll do the camera. Okay.